I've been going back to the gym for about two months now, and I've been working out every single day. So definitely every day I'm working on recovery, constantly working out different parts of the muscles.、Um, I do boxing, kettlebell training, Pilates, yoga, and a variety of workout programs. The rigorous workout classes and programs definitely help me to enhance my performance and the strength. But at the same time, it does generate a lot of soreness. So today. In this video, we're going to unbox and reveal this massage gun to see if it can really helps me to relieve and recover the soreness from all of the workouts. This is from the brand Bondair, and this is the Bondair Art to Relieve and Recover Percussive Massage Gun. So essentially, it's a massage gun that's really great for relief your exercise-induced stress and soreness from the muscle, and try to recover as fast as possible for the next workout session. Hello, my friend. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, fitness videos, and. Costco product review videos. In today's video, we're going to review another Costco item. This is from the brand Bondair, and this is the Bondair Art to Relieve and Recover Percussive Massage Gun. Right before we start, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. And it could really help me out if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So first of all, this item comes into this case. With a handle, which comes in very handy, you can put it in your car, take it with you to the gym, or like if you're going to travel, road trip, you know, this will be helpful. And yesterday, my husband and I were watching basketball, and he was like, "They were using a massage gun." I was like, "I got one too." So let's try this out. Okay, so first impression, the case is not too heavy, which is a great thing. Maybe more portable and lightweighted as well. So excited! I just went to a Hit training. So basically, I did、um, cardio alternating with strength training, like kettlebells, and those kettlebells are pretty heavy, and my upper body are definitely very sore, especially the tricep area. So I hope this one can help. Tada! This is what the product looks like. It says that it comes with six different attachments targeting different parts of the body. Exclusive handle extension. So I had a massage gun before, but one of the drawbacks is that there's Certain areas that I have to have my husband to help me to massage because I couldn't reach my back. So hopefully the hand extension could be helpful. I'm very excited for that particular feature. And let's get started. First thing, it comes with a manual. It basically teaches you like the recharging and the description of things and the operating instructions. So make sure you read them before you. Operate it. Even if you have tried different massage guns, this could be a little bit different. So make sure you do it safely. So let's see the actual massage gun. Oh wow! Hey, I love this. I love this. Look at this. It's way smaller than the previous massage gun. It's way lighter and it's way smaller. So it's definitely towards the more portable side, although it does carry some weight. But hey, we need a sturdy item when it comes to massage guns. It says, "Do not touch this area when the device is running without massage head installed, and do not touch this area when the device is running." So as you can see, this is what the product looks like. It has a power button and it has a. Charging indicator, and you can also switch between the different modes. Inside of this handle, you can see the USB port, and this is where you attach the USB port to charge the device. So first impression, it's definitely on the portable side. The actual device is really sturdy, but it's not too heavy for my little hand. Extension, shall we? I'm so very excited for the extension. Ooh. So this is what the extension looks like. So basically, you can extend this. Oh, look! Just twist it on like this, and now there you have it. You have an extension. Oh, I love this. Cause previously, I would have to do this as I was massaging myself. <laughs> I was really making my different joints sore, but now I can just do this. Interesting. Why didn't anyone think of this before? 
I'm so glad it comes with an extension. So this is what the product looks like with extension. It's fairly long. You can just detach it when you like, you know, take it to go. And when you're actually doing it, you can just twist it on. So I no longer need my husband's help when it comes to my back shoulder muscles because it's one of the areas that I absolutely to massage as often as possible, but I just felt like too lazy of reaching back and my husband felt like, huh, why do I have to give you a massage even if I bought you a massage gun? So this one could be potentially very, very beneficial right here with a hand extension. So this is definitely one of the nicest features. So first you could press and hold on or off button until the device turns on and each press will gradually increase the speed until it reaches the maximum so um, unlike the other massage guns sometimes they're different buttons you just use this same button for on and off and also to change the speed so we have different speed options and you if you hold it you can turn it on and then you just press it one press it two press it three to see the speed at any speed level you can hold the button to shut down the device so you don't have to keep pressing it and the device will turn off automatically after 15 seconds of idle time if the device is not being used it will just turn off by itself for safety reasons and it's more energy efficient and the device will stop running after 10 minutes of continuously use for intelligent protection so definitely you don't want to over massage your muscles so i'm so glad it came with this feature so now let's try out shall we so inside of this of course you it comes with a usb charging port actually i really like this one because previously i did have a massage gun but this one it actually comes with knots with different textures all right now let's look at the different attachments notes um, the first one is in a ball shape if you squeeze it it's definitely on the harder side it actually has an additional layer of felt velvety type of so it's not too harsh on my skin um, the second one is also a ball so these two are balls in similar sizes but the difference is the second one if you squeeze it you will see that this is like a rubber type of feeling so it's definitely on the softer side so if you felt like maybe this one is too harsh for my muscle group maybe you can try this one because you know you can squeeze it sometimes you want to target one single area maybe for acupuncture type of feeling and the next one is a fork also for smaller muscle groups as well it also comes with two ladder surface um, both of them are on the harder side and one is bigger than the other definitely this product compared to a lot of other massage guns I've used I definitely appreciate the softer balls because sometimes I want a massage but I don't want too hard of a massage and I could use the softer balls and now let's try it on, on my body the only thing though is that I wish on this manual it gives me some introduction to what not what attachment to use for what muscle group of course you use what Whatever you want when you feel good but if this is the first time you use a massage gun if the manual can come with some instructions of like, use this for certain areas use this for other areas so that will be maybe more helpful but first to operate this item we're gonna long hold and now it's level one and it also has a battery indicator right here it has the light so this is level one speed and this is the actual battery how much battery is left and this is the motion of the massage gun okay so now let's see I definitely need some shoulder massage right here so I actually really like this ball it feels way nicer than the other ones that has other surfaces Whew. This one actually feels really good. Actually, the level one speed, it's pretty harsh. Okay, feels good, feels good. So another thing about using a massage gun is you want to massage your muscles, not your bones. So try to find the area where the muscles are there and try to massage the muscles. Okay. Especially like the tight muscles from all of the shoulder workouts. I did so many push-ups today previous video i talked about using it on my neck and people were like don't use it on your neck i wasn't using it on my neck bone it was really like on the neck muscle connecting to the shoulders right here because a lot of times we're overstretching this area so i want to 
massage right here as well and I do notice that if you hold the extension your hand is shaking less compared to if you hold right here if you hold right here you can feel the vibration and sometimes your hand become very sore but if you hold the extension I actually don't feel that so now we're gonna go to our back massage it definitely feels good with this extension cord right here then more on the right side my right side shoulder is always that like my shoulder blades my back muscle my neck muscle always on my right side now it's time to massage my arms, especially tricep. I definitely enjoy the extension a lot because previously I wouldn't be able to reach this area without the extension. I would ask my husband to hold it and now I can just do it all by myself. This is level 1. I normally just use level 1 but if you feel super sore, you can just press it again. Level 2. Whoa! Level 3. Woo! That is super fast vibration. I can't even feel it right here. That's, I just need level one. What's your favorite type of workout, guys? My favorite workout at this moment is a boxing, and I've been doing a lot of kettlebells in between my boxing set. I this one with the flat surface. Make sure it's on. And I was thinking about trying to massage my lower back, so we're gonna stand up. And we're gonna turn back. Okay, this this is my favorite so far. My lower back always hurts from sitting. Or you can do it this way. So this is what this knot feels like. It is definitely on the flatter side, but I do think it's really good for my lower back muscles, especially if you have those knots on your lower back muscles. Maybe upper back as well. Yeah, I do think the flatter side does feel pretty good on my back muscle in general. Oh, put it on my calf. Yeah. Outside of my thigh feels pretty good. Really smooth. It feels really smooth on my muscle. And it's really good for those large muscle groups. It actually feels really good because it's really smooth on the knot. All right, so that is this knot. We also have a smaller knot that's comparable to this one, but this one just feels a little bit on the harder side. And finally, we also have a position one, like this one. Oh, here we go. Oh, punching, 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 kind of like acupuncture. I love this one for my neck muscle because it's like towards one particular smaller muscle group. And I like to do it right here, just right here between my neck muscle and shoulder muscle. I always feel like my right side here hurts a lot. So I always use it right here. Smaller muscle groups right here. Oh, this actually feels so good on the tricep. Try this guys, you'll have to try this. It feels so good right here. This feels so good right here. Just right under here. Since we did the right side, we're gonna do the left side. Oh, this feels so good right here, right under here. Oh, overall, it feels really good. You don't need to use it too long. I think uh, overall 20 minutes per day is pretty good for me. I don't just massage one area for 10 minutes. I usually just do one area for maybe three to four minutes until I feel like a little bit loosened up and then feel good. Oh, you know what? I could feel a huge difference between the right side and the left side. You know what? <laughs> I can actually feel a huge difference before and after using it. Since we use this knot on the right side, we have to use it on the left. So, Alrighty, now I feel even I used it on both sides and I think I'm ready to give you my honest review. This is definitely not the first time I tried a massage gun. So if this is the first time you ever tried, make sure you go online to look some tutorials to see which attachment works the best for which muscle groups and also try it out for yourself because sometimes we have different preferences just because it feels nice on somebody else doesn't mean that it will feel great on you. But 
Overall, I do really, really enjoy this massage gun. I do think this hand extension is a life-changing addition to the actual regular massage gun. I have never seen a massage gun with a hand extension. Our previous one didn't have one. So this one, I definitely feel like it's a better addition because, you know, I don't need help from my husband anymore. It frees myself from getting additional help. I felt like this is what it's supposed to work like because you're supposed to be able to self-serve a massage session without any additional help from anybody else. With the hand extension, I was able to reach to my back muscle, my lower back, upper back, and I was able to do this as I go. And I do feel like this not so, kind of like acupuncture. It was really, really good to target one particular small muscle group. Highly, highly, highly recommend this massage gun. This is my honest review. You can buy it online. So I will put the link in the description box down below if you're interested. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and also comment down below. How do you recover from your workout session? Because I work out very regularly and I've been trying different ways to relieve and recover because not only do we recover from all of the muscle soreness but also we need to recover mentally physically comment down below what's the best recovery for you and if you have tried any massage guns and what attachment what knots do you recommend to use for different muscle groups so we can help each other's out i always love to learn from you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching before you go don't forget to subscribe ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Happy massaging!